Hey guys, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. In this video, I want to talk to you about this new learning thermostat that I just installed in my house called the Nest Thermostat E. Stick around. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I installed this thing in my house. Uh, this is called the Nest Learning Thermostat or the Nest Thermostat E. And Nest is a company, you've probably heard of them before. Um, they've actually been around for a number of years and they've had a number of different iterations of this thermostat. Uh, currently there's two different versions on the market. There's a Nest third generation and then there's also this one which was just released like about a month or so ago. This is actually uh, a cheaper version of their learning thermostat. Currently it's coming in at about $169. A lot of the earlier renditions of this thermostat were designed to be like very flashy and bright and almost like a work of art hanging on your wall. The idea with this one, I think, was to make it more sort of subdued and kind of blend into your wall so you almost don't even really notice it unless you need it. So it's sort of just a different design philosophy that went into this one. And uh, the cool thing about this is that there's a lot of efficiencies and just like thoughtfully designed functionality that really allows you to not only save energy, but just have a lot more convenience in the way that you adjust the temperature and just live in your house. Similar to the whole line of Nest products, this thermostat comes in a really nice, clean, good looking package. It was super easy to install. Something I really appreciated was how Nest actually has a really helpful detailed tutorial video that you can watch and follow along with as you're installing it. I thought it was actually really cool to see a company that finally offers this kind of instructions rather than just you know sticking you with a really confusing paper manual and saying good luck. One nice thing about this thermostat is that unlike a lot of the programmable thermostats out there it does not require any batteries. Even though it's got this really nice lit up display it does not require any kind of external power source. It's just powered from the wires in the wall. So it was really nice that I could just like cut that little annoying piece out of the equation with this new thermostat. This particular thermostat is really meant to be paired with a Wi-Fi signal and then used with the Nest app on your phone. The nice thing is you actually don't need to do this. So say if you were to put this in a rental property, you don't necessarily have to mess with your tenant's Wi-Fi signal and they don't need to have the app on their phone in order to use it. But without those things, it'll just lose a few of the features that it has to offer. But if you do have those things integrated, there's a lot more you can do with this thermostat. Because this thing has the ability to be paired with the Nest app on your phone, your phone can track your location. And as a result of this, the thermostat can turn down the heating and cooling when you're not at home. So it's not continually using up resources when nobody's there to even feel the difference. So say if you're to go away on vacation for the weekend or something like that, this thing will know that you're not at home. And when you're not at home, it can just turn itself down. And then when you start nearing home again, it'll turn itself back on so that the house is at the right temperature by the time you get home. One of the ways this thermostat saves energy is you can set certain parameters for how hot you want the temperature to be and how cool you want the temperature to be when you're not around. So you basically establish this range of acceptable temperature so that your heating and cooling units don't have to turn on until the temperature falls outside of those parameters. And obviously the bigger you can make those, the more money you're going to save on heating and cooling costs because your utilities won't be used. Another nice thing about the Nest app is that you can monitor and even control the temperature of your house from anywhere. And this thermostat can even show you what the temperature is outside as well just based on wherever your location is and what the weather is like in that area. Something else that makes this thermostat special is that it has this automatic learning system where it will start to learn what temperatures you like at what times of the day and eventually it'll start to automatically change the temperature based on what it has learned about your preferences. Because this thermostat has the capability of learning your habits and turning on and off based on the time of the day and when you are or are not around, this thing is bound to save you money in utility costs because pretty much every other dumb or programmable thermostat simply can't predict your behavior and turn themselves up and down or on and off on the fly like this. Another thing that I really appreciated about this thermostat was the fact that you don't have to pay for any ongoing subscription costs like you do with some of the other products from Nest, like the Nest Cam. Once this thermostat is bought and paid for, that's it. You don't have to keep paying for anything. It'll just automatically do the work and figure out what it needs to do to continue to keep your house at the right temperature. So there you go. That's my overview of the Nest thermostat. 
Uh, just to be clear, this is not like a paid promotion or sponsored video or anything like that. They're not paying me to do this. I just thought it was kind of a cool uh, tool to have in your house and potentially a rental property. So I wanted to put this together and let you know about it in case it might be useful to you. So if you're interested in picking up your own nest, I'm going to have a couple links uh, in the description below linking to the nest website and also a, a section on their website uh, where you can find out if you can get any rebates in your area for this kind of thing. Even if you can't, I think theoretically this thing will actually pay for itself within the first year or two. So, I mean, even if you don't get a, get a discount on it, it's still not a bad thing just long term to have in your house because if you can save energy and, you know, experience no uh, loss of comfort, why not do that, you know? Um, so anyway, uh, I'll have a couple links below. Feel free to check it out if you're interested. Uh, and yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you later. See ya.